A lot of people have called me a bee theft detective over the past few years. I investigate many crimes, but I'm also a beekeeper myself, so I understand bees and the beekeeping industry and how it all works. It's something that needs special attention from someone, and I'm glad that I can be there to fit that part. Ridgeville Highway in Butte County. This year was actually the first time I've had eight hives stolen. It was evident that the suspects most likely removed the hives by hand. You look for physical evidence that the suspects may have dropped on the ground. Here's a queen cage that was on the ground. This is from the beekeeping operation. You can look for little clues like this may or may, may not be related to the theft, but it also tells you there were beehives here at one point. Boxes are painted yellow, he has white lids. I do use some, some tracking devices, and unfortunately they didn't take one with a tracking device. These tracks right here, looks like a little bit wider of a tire. They have the pretty deep grooves. Those tire impressions are from a Hummer Bee forklift. There was no witnesses that I'm aware of at this time. It's not a substantial loss like we've seen in the past, but it still affects Buzz and his operation, his income. It's just frustrating when you know you've done all this work to put hives together and losses are a little bit heavier this year. At this time, I don't have any suspect in Buzz Landon's hive theft case. People who are stealing hives, they're driving around during the daytime looking for hives that are easily accessible and not marked. And then they come back at night under darkness in the early morning hours and load up the hives and drive away with them. It's a hard crime to detect because they look like they're the beekeeper that owns the hives moving their own hives. Between 2016 and 2017, there were approximately 1,700 hives stolen throughout the state of California. That has an estimated value at just under $1 million. Seriously? No, that's gonna be stolen bees for sure. I received a phone call that there's some hives on a trailer at an address. Some of the details match some of the evidence from the recent thefts we've had in Butte County and Glen County. So I'm on my way there to check it out. That's the Jeep. Oh yeah, these aren't Buzz's hives but he's really close to where buzzes were stolen. Hey, Kenneth. Good, how are you doing? Yeah, nice to meet you. Let me talk to my partner real quick. Look at this. So these are, this is what happened in Cameron's case. He took the top boxes off with the lids and left the bottom box hit behind. Those are those, and those are Cameron's brands. Where have you been buying your equipment and your bees and stuff from? Oh, just different people that I find for, you know, find them for sale and I'll buy them here and there. And how many did you buy? How many is here? There's 14 here? Okay. Well, Kenny, I don't believe your story because those hives are stolen. I didn't steal anything, sir. I'm not, I'm not that way. I would not steal things. I already know that everything you're telling me is a lie because I know the owner of those hives and they've never ever sold a piece of equipment that has their brand on the side of it. Not once, never. So like I said, I bought them from somebody else, but I will personally take them back if they belong to somebody. I they do belong to someone else. I, well, I don't have a problem with taking them to, to where they're supposed to go. I'm sure you know exactly where they're supposed to be returned to. So okay. do me a favor and turn around because you're under arrest you're for stealing hives. Oh.
4214 on everything right there 4214 yeah 4214 4214 yeah hey, it's all ours still have a decent amount of bees in them yeah i think some we're gonna nice. lose quite a few to what's flying around but yeah hey, i'm just more happy to get the equipment back the bees are a bonus it's awesome thank you yep good luck it's a rare occurrence where we do recover stolen hives. So it's kind of exciting when you actually do and you're able to contact the owners and return the property to them. Bee just hit me in the face. <laughs>